ශ්‍රී ලංකාවෙන් ගොඩාක් දුර බැහැර රටක වාසය කරන පින්තුන් මේ සූදානම් වෙලා ඉන්නේ සීල භාවනා වැඩසටහනට සහභාගී වෙලා තමන්ගේ ජීවිතයට දුර්ලභ වූ උදාර පුණ්‍ය ධර්මයන් එකතු කර ගන්නට ඉතින් අද දවසේදී මේ සීල භාවනා වැඩසටහන ආරම්භ කරන්න කුමක්තෙන් අපි හැම දිනාම බුදුරජාණන් වහන්සේට වන්දනා කරලා මේ උතුම් වැඩසටහන ආරම්භ කරමු සාදු සාදු මා කිව්වම කියන්න අර්හත් ගුණයෙන් බබලන සම්බුදු බුදු සිරිය දරන විදු සරණි නුවන දිලින මුනි Today you 
all have gathered here to do something rather rare. Do you agree? In a world that enjoys sensual pleasures, in a world where on weekends most people like to please their senses, you all have gathered here to do the opposite of it. What you're doing is you're practicing something our great teacher has taught us, which is known as renunciation. What is it called? Renunciation. And um, at the very glimpse of hearing it, you might think, no, we're not practicing renunciation. But the reality is you are. Okay? Because the meaning of the word renunciation, at first glance, you, you probably feel is um, renunciation when we hear that word, we think of monks and nuns who have, um, you know, let go of all their material things and left home to become ordained. That's what uh, the word renunciation most of the time means to us. But really, renunciation means letting go. Do you understand? Letting go. And so today you're practicing letting go of what? Sensual pleasures. You're letting go. You have today the opportunity to watch TV and please your eyes. But you didn't want to do that. Today you have the opportunity to listen to your favorite songs, but you didn't do that. You decided to listen to the Dhamma. Today you have the opportunity to enjoy um, the pleasures of uh, the different comforts you have. You can sit in the most comfortable chair or sofa, but today you're here sitting on the floor or a small chair. So you have let go of the opportunity to lead a, a life filled with sensual pleasures and today you're practicing renunciation. The Supreme Buddha explains that's one step that takes you closer to finding something called real happiness. What are you, uh, what are you taking the first steps to? Towards reaching real happiness. Now in a world like today we think we have the best technology especially in a country like this. I'm sure you have the most up-to-date technologies in this world and so we most of the time think that those things living in a modern world having the best and modern technology is what brings us happiness. But is that true? Is that true? You may have the best computer, you may have the best TV, radios and everything you need but the reality is no matter how much material things you have, in your mind, if your heart is filled with unwholesome things, these are known as defilements, as our great teacher the Supreme Buddha explains. If our mind, if our heart is filled with those things such as jealousy, anger, hatred, desire, lust, there is no way you can be happy. Do you agree with that? Right? You may have the most um, expensive house, but if your heart is filled with though, all those bad things, then there is no way you can be happy. So that's why our great teacher, the Supreme Buddha, descend into this world and teach us this truth, that is, the purity of our heart is what leads to real happiness. Do you agree? That's the truth. It's an eternal truth. So today in this morning, what we are trying to do, what we are going to try to do, is purify our heart. What are we going to do? We are going to try, practice, to purify our heart. Why did I say practice? Because our heart, our mind is, is filled with defilement and we cannot let go of these things in an instant. It's, some, it's a gradual process. We have to practice it little by little, little by little and through the practice we can little by little, gradually let go of the anger within us. We can let go of the jealousy within us. We can let go of the hatred within us and the delusion within us, okay? And that is why our great teacher, the Supreme Buddha, advises us to practice meditation. 
what meditation means is developing the mind do you understand when we do when we practice meditation what we're doing is we're developing our mind and a developed mind a well-trained mind does not have hatred within a well-trained mind does not have lust within a well-trained mind does not have delusion jealousy within it's pure okay so today this morning we're going to try to practice metta bhavana okay which is known as loving kindness meditation the supreme buddha explains if you practice loving kindness then i guarantee you you can get rid of the anger within you it's a statement our great teacher has has, uh, has made so if you practice metta bhavana then you can let go of the anger within now i want you to think i'm sure there's no one here who hasn't got angry can someone say that i haven't got angry here I don't think anyone can can say it right we all get angry at one point or another so then we must first agree then that we all have this um, unwholesome defilement within us known as anger and I want to ask you when you get angry do you feel comfortable and happy ask yourself when you get angry are you happy oh yes I got angry no when, our, when we get angry, our, our face turns red, it gets, it gets dark and we, we feel very unhappy and sometimes we regret. So anger is something that's completely unwholesome. That is why the Supreme Buddha explains if you want real happiness, then practice this meditation and let go of anger. Okay? So I'm sure you are used to practicing this meditation. Um, before we start the meditation, I want you to sit in a very comfortable position. Okay, sit in a very comfortable position and close your eyes. Focus your mind onto yourself. Tell yourself where you are right now. You're sitting in a hall in the monastery in this temple now little by little concentrate your mind onto your body bring your attention to your head little by little focus on your neck your shoulders your body your hips, your legs, and your toes. And come back up from your toes, to your legs, to your knees, to your hips, to your body, to your shoulders, to your neck, to your head. This is our body. Now pay your attention, keep your attention on your body and think, when I get angry, I'm not happy. I don't feel good. Therefore, my great teacher, the Supreme Buddha, teaches me the letting go of anger is good for me, is good for others around me, is good for both parties. Therefore, in this very moment, I'm going to practice the loving kindness meditation. Now when I say the phrases, I want you to focus your attention, focus your ears onto the phrases and think these phrases within your mind. May I be free from anger. 
May I be free from ill will. May I be free from jealousy. May I be free from physical and mental suffering. May I live happily. May I be free from anger. May I be free from hatred. May I be free from jealousy. May I be free from physical and mental suffering. May I live happily. May all beings in this monastery be free from anger, be free from ill will, be free from jealousy, be free from physical and mental suffering. May they live happily. May all beings in this monastery be free from anger, be free from ill will, be free from physical and mental suffering. May they live happily. May all beings in this town be free from anger, be free from hatred, be free from jealousy, be free from physical and mental suffering. May they live happily. May all beings in this town be free from anger, be free from ill will, be free from jealousy, be free from physical and mental suffering. May they live happily. May all beings in this province be free from anger, be free from ill will, be free from jealousy, be free from physical and mental suffering. May they live happily. May all beings in this province be free from anger, be free from ill will, be free from physical and mental suffering, be free from jealousy. May they live happily. May all beings in this country be free from anger, be free from ill will, be free from jealousy, be free from physical and mental suffering. May they live happily. May all beings in this country be free from anger, be free from ill will, be free from jealousy, be free from physical and mental suffering. May they live happily. May all beings in this world be free from anger, be free from ill will, be free from jealousy, be free from physical and mental suffering. May all beings in this world be free from anger, be free from ill will, be free from jealousy, be free from physical and mental suffering.
May they live happily. May all beings in all worlds be free from anger, be free from ill will, be free from jealousy, be free from physical and mental suffering. May they live happily. May all beings in the northern direction be free from anger, be free from ill will, be free from jealousy, be free from physical and mental suffering. May they live happily. May all beings in the northeastern direction be free from anger, be free from ill will, be free from jealousy, be free from physical and mental suffering. May they live happily. May all beings in the eastern direction be free from anger, be free from ill will, be free from jealousy, be free from physical and mental suffering. May they live happily. May all beings in the southeastern direction, be free from anger, be free from evil, be free from jealousy, be free from physical and mental suffering. May they live happily. May all things in the southern direction be free from anger, be free from ill will, be free from physical and mental suffering. May they live happily. May all beings in the southwestern direction be free from anger, be free from ill will, be free from jealousy, be free from physical and mental suffering. May they live happily. May all beings in the western direction be free from anger, be free from ill will, be free from jealousy, be free from physical and mental suffering. May all beings live happily. May all beings in the northwestern direction be free from anger, be free from ill will, be free from jealousy, be free from physical and mental suffering. May all beings live happily. May all beings in the upward direction be free from anger, be free from ill will, be free from jealousy, be free from physical and mental suffering. May they live happily. May all beings in the downwards direction be free from anger, be free from ill will, be free from 
jealousy, be free from physical and mental suffering. May they live happily. May all beings in all ten directions be free from anger, be free from ill will, be free from jealousy, be free from physical and mental suffering. May all beings live happily. May all beings everywhere in all directions be free from anger, be free from jealousy, be free from ill will, be free from physical and mental suffering. May all beings live happily. May all beings in all ten directions everywhere be free from anger, be free from ill will, be free from jealousy, be free from physical and mental suffering. May all beings live happily. May all beings live happily. May all beings be happily. May all beings live happily. May all beings be free from anger. Be free from ill will. Be free from jealousy. Be free from physical and mental suffering. Be free from jealousy. May all beings live happily. May all beings live happily. May all beings live happily. practice of the Metta Bhavana meditation. How do you feel? If you did it correctly, you must feel better than how you felt before you started the meditation. If you did it right, if you did it correctly. Because as you know, our great teacher, the Supreme Buddha, explains that if you do this meditation, then without a doubt you can experience the results in this very life okay in the metta nisansa sutta which i'm sure you all have heard of the supreme Buddha explains the uh, explains 11 results that you can experience through practicing this meditation right do you remember what those results are Do you remember? You must remember. Okay? In this sutta, the Supreme Buddha explains if you um, attain metta cheto vimukti, what that means is liberation of mind through loving kindness. What that means is liberation of mind means at that moment your, your mind is free from anger. So, through, through the meditation, you have learned to practice letting go of anger and so at a moment that you have attained the liberation of mind through loving kindness the Supreme Buddha explains then you can uh, 
um, experience these 11 results. And the first one is Sukham Supati. What that is, that's the, the phrase in Pali. What that means is, what is it? What's the first one? What the, the first result is? You get up happily. Now in the morning when you get up, are you happy? You're happy. That's good. Most of us, sometimes only. Sometimes only. Most people when they get up, they're cranky. They don't want to get up. They don't feel good. Oh, I have to get up again this morning. You know, you're, you're kind of, you're not happy. But the Supreme Buddha explains, if you practice this meditation, you can get up happily. When you open your eyes in the morning, automatically you get up from bed. You don't have to, uh, you know, toss and turn in bed, thinking about the things you have to do for the rest of the day. You can easily get up. That's one result. And then the Supreme Buddha explains, the second is you can sleep well. Now, aren't these results things that we want to attain? You can sleep well. Now, that's another problem most of us have. We can't fall asleep. We go to bed and we toss and turn and the things we did through the whole day is twirling in our mind. Right? We, we don't fall asleep. But the Supreme Buddha explains, if you're someone who practices this meditation, then you can sleep well as well. Okay? And then the Supreme Buddha explains, Napagavan Stupinam Pasati. What that means is, you don't have bad dreams. Now, as you know, a lot of people are seeing, um, seeing having terror, night terrors. And bad dreams is a problem for a lot of people. And I, I mean, as we know, some people have to actually um, turn to uh, medication. To get rid of these things. And the Supreme Buddha explains if you practice loving kindness meditation, you don't have these bad dreams. You're not someone who gets up in the in the middle of the night with terror and fear within you. You you won't see bad dreams. Okay? And then the Supreme Buddha explains the fourth is Manusana Pyohoti. What that means is you're pleasing. To, the, to human beings. So what that means is you're pleasing to those around you. Don't you want to um, be someone who, who appears as pleasing? When people see you, they want to talk to you. They want to associate with you. Because you're pleasant. The Supreme Buddha explains if you're someone who practices, practices loving and kindness meditation, then you, come, you become a person who's pleasing to human beings. And not just human beings. But also to devas, gods. Do you understand? So if you're someone who, who wants to get rid of anger and if you're someone who's practicing this meditation, then even gods are watching over you. Do you understand? Those are the first five. And then the Supreme Buddha explains, Mukhavanu Vipasidati. What that means is your face becomes pleasant. Now, does that mean if you're a dark person, you turn white? No, that's not what it means. What it means is your, your face, your complexion becomes very pleasant and serene. Do you understand? Becomes very pleasant. Now, as you know, we all like to look good. Right? So that's, that's why most of the time we, all, we, we use all, the, all these different face washes and creams and all of these things we put makeup on to make ourselves look good. But the Supreme Buddha explains if you're someone who practices this meditation, you can attain a beautiful complexion without having to use creams and facials and all that, those things. Do you understand? That's another result. And then our great teacher, the Supreme Buddha, explains another um, result of practicing this meditation is you're not hurt by things like fires or poison. You're not going to be the subject of things like robberies and things like that. You won't be hurt. Do you understand? So that you, you, can, you can live a life free of having to face those kinds of things. 
That's another result. And another result the Supreme Buddha explains is when you practice this loving kindness meditation, you can attain a concentrated mind easily. Do you understand? So, as you know, we practice meditation because we want to concentrate our mind. It's known as samadhi. So, the Supreme Buddha explains if you're someone who practice, practices this loving kindness meditation, then you can easily concentrate your mind. So it's, this is actually a good point. While you're practicing other meditation, meditation, then you must also practice this meditation. Because practice this loving, practicing this loving kind of meditation helps you to attain a level of samadhi, concentration, through those other meditations as well. Do you understand? So uh, attaining a concentrated mind is another result, benefit of practicing loving kindness meditation. And then the Supreme Buddha explains another result of practicing loving kindness meditation is you won't the moment you die you won't die unmindfully. Do you understand? Now, as you know, in, in our last moment, sometimes when people are near, when, when people are close death, people become confused. And they don't even know where they are sometimes. And they ask who people are around them. They're completely confused. Their, their mindfulness is not there. And that's actually quite dangerous. The Supreme Court explains if you if you mind if you die with such a mind, then chances are in the next birth, you will be born in a lower world. So, so dying with a mindful mindset is quite important. So the Supreme Buddha explains if you practice this loving kindness meditation, then you can die mindfully, no matter how you die. You may die uh, having to face an accident while you're driving on the road, but or you may die with, uh, with a, with, uh, from a serious illness, with so much pain, but you won't lose your mindfulness. So that's a very important benefit. And then the Supreme Buddha explains another benefit of practicing loving kindness meditation is if in this life you don't attain any higher stage, you'll be reborn in a, as an anagami person in a Brahma world. Do you understand? You will be, if you don't attain any higher state in this world, what that means is if you don't become either Sotapanna or Sakadagami, that means if you're not a stream entrant or a once returner or a non returner, then you'll be reborn in the Brahma world where you can develop further what you have been practicing in this life. Okay, so those are the benefits that we can um, experience in, the, in this very life. So, 10 of those benefits we can experience in this very life. And the, the last one is something that you can experience in your next life, when you are reborn in the Brahma world. Okay, so that's why our great teacher, the Supreme Buddha, explains you must practice this meditation, Yani Kata, that means like a vehicle. What that means is when you get into a vehicle, you just simply drive. It's automatic, you don't have to think. Right? Just like that, you must be able to practice this meditation in an instant, always. This is meditation you must always have within your heart. The moment you get angry, you must remember this meditation and practice it. And so if you do so, then little by little, you can let go of the anger within you. And you can purify your mind. Okay. So um, I bless you. May you have the opportunity to practice this loving kindness meditation and experience its amazing benefits and results. And may this meditation help you to be to develop a, a heart free of anger. And may you have the opportunity to realize the Four Noble Truths in this Gautama Buddha's dispensation.
उपकार वंदना Sadu, sadu, sadu. Ma ki vaham ki ane. E bhagyavatu arhatu. E bhagyavatu arhatu. Gautam namo. अपगे समुदुरजानन वहन से निरंजरान दस बड वज्रासन मत वड इंद जय श्री महाबोसवनी अरहत वयट पत्तु से कम्मासुदुबट पत्तु से क विद्याचरण संपन्न बट पत्तु से सुगत बट पत्तु से लोक विदु बट पत्तु से अनुतरो पुरी सदम सारती बवट पत्तु से देव मिनि सुन गे शास्त्रुन बहन से बवट पत्तु से क बुद्ध बट पत्तु से कत्तु से भगवट पत्तु से क्रीमत गुणयन लबागत से क
तुल दिन न मोहते दे आप गे भाग्य तुन वाहन सेठ सेवन साल सालो जय श्री महाबोधीन वाहन सेठ मम नमस्कार कर मी नमस्कार मागे नमस्कार वेवा वाडिवीयम रुकक सेवने हेम सतुरु मूल परदवा लेबु निसाए ही मुनि दुबुदु बाव वंदे मुआपी बोरा जानन लोकनाथ अप मुनि राजुगिन पिदुम लबु सिरी महाबोधि आपितन वंदी मुब साधरेन आप गे सिरी गाउतम बोधि साध 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 संबोधि पूजे मि बोधि राजानं दीपालोकेन सादरं उत्तम बुद्ध बालाबन मोहते दम राजुन सेवनालादिं पुदमे अपगे बोरा जानं दिलन में आलोकयन सेवितं धम राजेन पत्तुं संबोधि मुत्तमं पूजे मि बोधि राजानं गंध दुपेन सादरं उत्तम बुद्ध बालाबन मोहते दम राजुन सेवनालदिन पुदमे अपगे बोरा जानं सुवंद पतिरेन में दुमिन सेवितं धम राजेन पत्तुं संबोधि मुत्तमं 
पूजे मी बोधिरा जान पुपे ने तेन सादर उतुम बुद्ध बलबन मोहते दम रजन से नाल दिन पुद में अप गे बोर जान सुंद मलिन सेवितम धम राजेन पत्तुं संबोधि मुत्तम पूजे मे बोधि राजन सबं सदाय पूजित उत्तम बुद्ध बलबन मोहते दम रजुन से नाल दिन पुद में अप गे बोर जान सेलु पूजा वन बलिंग साधु 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 फिर मत नहीं ए बोधिन वहाँ से आप मेरे दिन का त्वान तना करें मो माँ की वहाँ मुखी अन्न सुंदर पीरुनु मल आहासे गव सुने
ಸಂಬುದಿಗೆ ಬುದುರ ಗಿಲಿ ಗಿಲಿ ಗಿಯ ಬೋ ರಜುನಿ ಪಸ ಪೋದ ಆಹಸೆ ಸಂದ ಕೆನ್ ಪಸ ಪೋದ ಆಹಸೆ ಸಂದ ಒಬ್ಬಟ ಪಿ ದೇವಾ ಬೋ ರಜುನಿ ನಿಲ್ಮಿನಿ ತರು ಕೆಟ್ಟ ಆಹಸನ್ ವಿಯನ ಅಟ್ಟ ಸಹನ್ ಸುಂದಿ ಬೋ ರಜುನಿ ಪೆಹ ಸರ ಅರುಣ ಕಿರು ಮಂಡಲ ಕುಂಸೆ ಲೋಹೆ ದಿಲೇವಾ ಬೋ ರಜುನಿ ಸಟ ಅನ್ ಬಲ ಕುಲ ಕುಂಸೆ ಬೋ ಪತ್ನಿ ದೀ ಬೋ ರಜುನಿ ಸಮವತ್ ಸುಯಟ ಸೀಲ ಸದೇವಾ ಜುನಿ ಸಸರ ಪುರಟ ಅಪರ ಸಂಕಲ ಪಿನ್ಟ ಪಿ ದೇವಾ ಬೋ ರಜುನಿ ನಿವನ ಸ್ವಯನ ಮನು ಕೆಲಟ ಸರನ ವಿಜ ಬೇವಾಬೋ ರಜುನಿ ಸುಂದರ ಬುದುರು ದುಟ್ಟುವಾಗಿ ಒಬ್ಬ ಅಭಿಯಸ ಮಟ ಬೋ ರಜುನಿ ಪಿನ್ ಸರ ಬೋ ರಜು ನಿತರ ದಕ್ಕಿನಟ ದೇಸ ಪಿನ್ ಕಲಾ ಬೋ ರಜುನಿ ಜೀವಿತಯಮ ಮಗೆ ಸುಂದ ಮಲಕ್ವಿ ಒಬ್ಬಟ ಪಿ ದೇವಾ ಬೋ ರಜುನಿ ಆದರ ಎನ್ ಲಂಗ ಅತಿರವಂದಿ ಮೀ ಮಂಗ ಪತಾಗಿನ ಬೋ ರಜುನಿ ಆದರ ಎನ್ ಲಂಗ ಅತಿರ ವಂದಿ ಮೀ ಮಂಗ ನಿವನ ಪತಾಗಿನ ಬೋ ರಜುನಿ ಆದರ ಎನ್ ಲಂಗ ಅತಿರ ವಂದಿ ಮೀ ಮಂಗ ನಿವನ ಪತಾಗಿನ ಬೋ ರಜುನಿ ಸಾಧು ಸ
साधु साधु पिनद विवरण चापी हम दिना हम कितेला पुनन मोदन करमु मां की वहा हम कियन्ने सको देवा नमिंदो सको देवा नमिंदो इमं पुण्यानु मोदतु इमं पुण्यानु गटीकारो गटीकारो इमं पुण्यानुमोदतु विस्कमो देवपुत्तो इमं पुण्यानुमोदतु पुण्यं तंगनुमोदितं Kuero uttaram disam, Kuero uttaram disam, Chattaro te maharaja, Chattaro te maharaja, Imam punyanu modantu, Imam punyanu modantu, Punyan tanganu modita, Punyan tanganu. चिरंद्रकं तु बुद्ध सासनं चिरंद्रकं तु बुद्ध सासनं इंदो सोमो वरुणोच इंदो सोमो वरुणोच भारद्वाजो पजापति भारद्वाजो पजापति चंदनो काम सेठोच चंदनो काम सेठोच किन्नि घंडु निघंड च Panado साता गिरो हेमवतो साता गिरो हेमवतो पुन्न को करतियो गुलो पुन्न को करतियो गुलो शिव को मुचलिंदोच शिव को मुचलिंदोच वेसामितो युगंधरो वेसामितो युगंधरो गोपालो सुप गेधोच गोपालो तीरिनित्तीच मंदियो तीरिनित्तीच मंदियो पंचाल चंदो आलको पंचाल चंदो आलको पद्जुन्नो सुमनो सुमको दधी मुको पद्जुन्नो सुमनो सुमको दधी मुको मनीमानी चरो दीगो अतो से रिस को सहा अतो से रिस को सहा एते सेनापति देवा एते सेनापति देवा इमं पुण्यानु मोदन्तु इमं पुण्यानु मोदन्तु पुण्यं तंगनु मोदित्वा पुण्यं तंगनु मोदित्वा चिरं रक्षन्तु बुद्ध सासनं Aka पुण्यं तंगनु मोदित्वा चिरं रक्षन्तु बुद्ध देशनं आकाशत्ताच भूमत्ता देवानागा महिदिका 
अपगे परम पूजनीय गुरुदेव उत्तम स्वामी महान सेठान मोदन विवा इवागे मे पुण्य भूमि वेडवासे कर्ण पिन्न स्वामी वहांसे लु महावीनावासी लोकवासी महासंगर नट मे पिंग अनुमोदन वित्वा पिन्न मेनियन वहांसे लाट मे पिंग अनुमोदन वित्वा पिन्न तुन वहांसे लम दिनाट कुतुम धर्मा बोधे पिनी सम पिंग कर गट वासना उदावेवा साधु साधु उपकार